Hey everybody, it's Aquila and this is a Lefty Knitter Podcast, episode 198. I haven't done a proper introduction for this, although I've recorded other clips, so I'm doing that now. I record through the week and then I like splice everything all together and post on Saturdays, um, so yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Tongue tied. I <laughs> am in Baltimore, husband, kids, cats, etc. I like to show uh, as many crafty things as possible, and yeah, that's where we're at. Today is already Friday, March 17th. It is St. Patrick's Day, so I'm wearing my green. I also have some green not knitted socks on, but you know, that's all right. I should have brought the tag up for that. Okay, first off, I'm going to insert video here. I blocked my paint, my cardigan, the home cardigan, and I was using this yarn and it bled so much. I rinsed it quite a few times and it was still bleeding. This yarn is, I have the bag here, hold on, it was in this bag, I believe. This is the Trendsetter Yarn Union, and it's an acrylic wool blend. It's recycled merino and acrylic. This color, I, I can't attest to other colors, but this color bled like the Dickens. So if I was doing color work, I would have been real upset. Just saying. Real, it was bad. It was really bad. All right, so I inserted a video, show you that. I also have some video of, or a picture, let's just say, I think I have a picture. Um, two hats that I cranked on my Addy King Size machine. It was made out of the Caron Cakes, and this was the color Rainbow Sprinkles. So it was a rainbow um, yarn, and I made two hats. I made an adult size, and I made a kid size, and they are being donated to Hazel School for, um, sorry, they're having a bingo. PTA is having a bingo, and I donated them for prizes, so done that's done I have other things to show you that are done I was cranking this weekend at Avalon Springs Farm and I made some really fun monster socks like scrappy socks they kind of match only because when I do this I'll use like a pro I don't weigh it and I use approximately half of the ball and then I'll go back on the other sock and I'll use the other half and then use it up so I could have more rows of one color than the other but there they are. Aren't they fun? They're so much fun. I like to try to do at least the cuff part the same. That way when I'm matching my socks up, um, I know these two match. So yeah, they're really fun. And then I finally was able, I, I've had this yarn for a while and I need to, um, it was a gift. It was gifted to me from Chameleon Hand Dyed. I gotta find the tag. I don't know where the tag is. But this was the Toxic, something Toxic, sock set. And I finally cranked this and I didn't know what I wanted to do with the mini. So what I ended up doing was just putting like a fun stripe in the leg. And yeah, these are really fun. Green, yeah, these are really fun. So those are done. Then I have another finished object. I am full of finished objects and I need to show you them all. So oh, I should keep these on blockers. I need to take pictures of these so I can post them. I've been trying to make sure I keep pictures and post on Ravelry of everything I've cranked this year. That is my, my goal. I finished Hazel's Wednesday vest. I do not have pictures of, in it, of her in it. I do not have video of her in it. Although maybe tomorrow because I could possibly get her to do that. This was made using some acrylic yarn and out of my head pattern. I did not follow any pattern instructions. I just did this based on looking at the picture. So, oh, that seam doesn't look as good, but you know what? It'll be fine. Oh, I still have a marker on it. Oops. I just had that on there because I didn't have my bin to put them in. Well, that ruined the whole reveal. Ta-da! It is done. This could have been deeper 
in the in the picture I think it was even deeper like down to here possibly like it went only halfway it went through that that's okay I think it turned out so cool it's, it's so cool she hasn't even tried it on for me yet so I don't even know little brat I think it looks really neat though all right have you guys seen enough of this now I hopefully we'll be able to get pictures of it her in it and that would be amazing I will insert video here so pause that's my signal so I know to do that when I'm editing <laughs> it's Tuesday morning <clears throat> And um, I'm down in my craft room slash office because I need to get some things for the day. A, um, I need to find needles for a new project. So I was at the Avalon Springs Farm and uh, Grace came in and I met Grace before. Um, she's been in before so she's local but she had designed a new hat pattern and I told her oh I would like to test that. So I came home and... Um, picked out yarn for Hayes because Hayes I'm gonna make her a new hat so Hayes has this yarn that we had gotten at Labity Looms and it's in Lancaster and it just says sparkle hand dyed 420 yards but I do want to weigh it because I want to make sure I give Grace all the right information so I'll weigh it versus the yards they say but this is it it's a sparkle base you probably can't tell and it needs a pom-pom, so Hayes picked out a pom-pom while we were there. And this is the pom-pom. So, it's really cute. So I gotta wind this into a cake, because I gotta hold this double. And, yeah, find a five and a seven. And today, I was trying to wear semi-comfy clothes. I have, well, my work, I have book club today. Um, we're talking about the book about, um, oh my god, why can't I think of what it's called? It'll be down below. It's already in my list because I finished reading it. And so we have book club today and we have, I have my CPR training today. I already took the online test. It used to all be, um, in person, but now part of it's online and then the hands-on part is at our office and so I have to do that today so I was like I need to wear something that I can get down on the floor and perform CPR and do all that for our training I've been doing it I've been certified um, through my my work um, does it and uh, it's really nice that I can get it for free <clears throat> so I'm CPR and I'm AE, AED trained so I can use an AED if needed hopefully I'll never have to do it but if I do I know what I'm doing <sighs> Alright, so let me find some needles so I can get this going. I'm going to put everything in my new bag. And, oh, I got to wind that. But I can put the palm in. Alright, and then that'll be my day. Yeah. And I need to find, I have a, I have a thing of cards in this bin where my needles are. I don't know why they're in there, but sometimes I send card, thank you card, or like blank cards out. <clears throat> with packages, so I guess that's why they're in there, but I want to send one to the physical therapist because I am better, y'all. Like, seriously, one session, she did the maneuvers, and I'm good. Like, I cannot believe this. How That's amazing. So I am going to send a little note to her office because I am so grateful. I mean, I know it's her job and I know like I probably should have went and been like something's wrong before a month went by, but I didn't and here I am, but I am, I am better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a, a card too and get that going. So you saw the video. I'm practically done. I practically done. So this is Grace's pom-pom hat. I haven't weighed how much I need to do that so I can give Grace all of the numbers that she needs for the testing. And I haven't put the pom-pom on it. So the pom-pom I did buy at Avalon Springs Farm. 
It has a little hook, a, a little doohickey. All right. And the, the beginning end is not woven in. But this is held double to make a DK weight. And it has this cool decreasing with the pearl ridge on the top. And I need to put the pom-pom on it. It's gonna be cute it's gonna be so cute although the weather's changing starting to get semi warmer this will fit Hayes for I mean really it would fit her the rest of her life so it's cut I did the adult size because I know Hayes can wear my hats so I didn't modify the pattern because I wanted to test it as written so there you go and I have a decent amount left so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this but since it's Hazel's yarn I need to get her permission on what she wants so maybe some leg warmers I have been working on my blanket I'll show you guys maybe a clip of that tomorrow or do I just want to show it today and then if I edit I don't have to worry about nah that's alright okay I finished a book I finished a few a few books mm, dang I can I'm terrible at remembering okay I finished the summer place don't remember the author. It'll be down below. Um, you know, when there's like infidelity, I don't know. I guess it just sets off a trigger for me. I don't know. Uh, so that there's a trigger of infidelity if that's not like something you like reading about. But the book wasn't terrible, but it wasn't like my favorite. There, she has a bunch of books, this author, but I'm not sure if I'm quite interested. So we'll see. I, I read the one because it was recommended by somebody on a podcast and I had had it on my list. So, and then the other thing, so John is obsessed with Outer Banks, that show Outer Banks. I call it the, like, it's the most ridiculous show in the, like, it's so ridiculous. Like the, this stuff is not happening ever to people. Kids. Like, seriously. Alright, sorry. I could go on rants about this, and I have to John. So, he watched, though, a show called The Consultant. Uh, it is on Amazon Prime. I He told me I should watch it. So, when he goes to bed, that's been the show I've been watching. Um, it's There are short episodes, like 30-minute episodes. It's interesting and very... I'm just confused. <laughs> I should say, I'm just confused. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If you've watched it, let me know what you think, because I, I'm not to the end yet. I'm, I'm only four episodes in, and I, I'll update you, I guess, when I watch the rest, but I don't know. All right, I'm going to insert a clip after this. I talk about... Um, something I acquired for that cardigan that bled everywhere. So stay tuned for that. All right, it's Wednesday. Really quickly, I just want to show you guys the buttons I got for my cardigan that I haven't finished yet. I haven't even blocked it. I haven't even taken out the waist yarn from when it was holding the sleeve stitches, but that's a whole nother story. But I was waiting for buttons. So I went to an Etsy shop called... Flare NW. They are out of Oregon. And I found them on Etsy and I thought their buttons were really cool. Now when I go on Etsy, there's lots of times that I will scroll down further, look for shops that are local or look for shops that have not a whole lot of sales. I never usually pick the top shop, just in general. So I messaged the person because I really like the buttons. They're homemade and their resin and I asked them if I could get gold and red like maroon and gold buttons for that cardigan and they were like yes and I was like sweet thank you thank you very much hold on that's uncomfortable we're gonna <laughs> tilt that and so I got said they made a custom listing for me I got said buttons and I'm so excited look how cute these are Let me just take one out of the package because the glare. I'm very excited though. I 
I think the yarn is going to show through what like the clear parts. I'm very excited for these. So I have four and it came with some extras like how super nice. I these were super cute. So thank you very much. I don't know if it had a name if the person had a name that was really ter terrible that I didn't like look that up. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'll post the Etsy shop down below though. But it came with a little bag of goodies. Now that's it was really exciting. Look, look how cute this is. A little frog. It came with a needle threader. It came with a darning needle to put your like buttons on. And it came with some little sample buttons. This is like a really pretty um like turquoisey blue. It's not quite turquoise. It's like a lighter blue with glitter. Then I got this little clear guy here. And I got this really, this one's really cool too. It's like yellow with some like rainbow glitter in it. Ah, like super exciting. So thank you, thank you. I need to get on that. So it's just not been warm enough to block that sweater and I just haven't done it yet. I'm procrastinating. I could always bl block it and let it sit for as long as it needs to to dry and I just haven't done that so whoops yeah also I was supposed to have my first mammogram tomorrow and they called me today and we're like our imaging machine is down and the guy came out to fix it and it needs a part so we gotta reschedule you and I was like damn it like I was all hyped up ready to go get your tatas checked there's your reminder now I just have to, I've rescheduled so, bummer. That's all right. At least I was able to just reschedule. Okay, so I know some of you might not be interested in the regular podcast about this, but if you're interested in watching a video that I did about a regular heel and a deep heel on the machine, this is using half your needles. So the short rows are only across half of the stitches. So this is like the halfway mark, right? Something like that. This heel goes deeper, four stitches deeper on each side. So it's 40 of the 64 stitches are the heel versus 32 of the 64 stitches are the heel on this side. So just a comparison to, to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I did a video on this and I thought it was pretty interesting. Yeah. It's now March 18th and I need to wrap this up. So Saturday, yep wrapping it up. I totally finished that hat now. I need to take pictures of it on the, uh, somebody's head, preferably Hazel's, but I just wanted to show you guys. It is done. Done, done. Ends woven in. It's on a, it's on a button so I can take it off easy. And it's super cute. So, if you hear Hayes in the other room, she's painting and she's on the phone with a friend. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, there you go. I like it. The only other thing I've now worked on, um, because I'm going to need another new cast on, and I don't know what that's going to be. So, not sure. So loud. <laughs> Um, is my throw that I've been working on and I am on I'm not sure what number I'm on hold on let me count let me count the ways one two three four five six seven I'm on day eight of the advent calendar and let me find my marker where I was so here's where I was I just finished up the greenish color started that color and I finished that one this one and I started this one so that's where we're at it's like really it's gonna be hard to show you guys eventually like other than just showing you this like a portion like that right because it's getting huge but although I'm still having to shove the I should have like 
I should have used a smaller cord, but once I do this last increase with like the most amount of stitches, I'm going to want it on this cord. So I'm not going to switch it now. I just keep, you know, pinching it at this point and dragging all the stitches towards the needle. Whatever. It's fine. It works. Yeah. So that's all I have to show you for this week. And I talked about everything that we were watching and everything that I was reading. I haven't started a new book. I'm not sure what to start. So I have a bunch in my list and I have a Goodreads account and I have on my Scribd account, I have like want to read books. So I have them all there. I just need to pick one. I'm not sure what I'm feeling right now. So <laughs> it might just be another like quick, light, not quite lighthearted, but you know, I really do read, like, in, I enjoy young adult novels. I think because, I don't know, they're not all really lighthearted. I shouldn't say that because there are tough topics in some of those. Um, but I also feel like they're quicker reads than some of the adult books that are out there. Although, I don't know, I used to love reading, like, murder mysteries and stuff like that. I just haven't done that in a while. I had to stop. Like, I was reading, like, true crime books. And I still love true crime books. <laughs> but I was reading true crime books to the point where, like, I was, like, giving myself nightmares. So, yeah. I have to, I have to always switch out my genres of stuff. So, somebody was just talking about a book. Um, it's like a murder mystery at a yarn store. I think it had to do with a spinning wheel. It had a spinning wheel on the cover. I might have to look that one up. Maybe maybe that will be like that series because I think there's a couple. And I love reading series books, although I still have books in other series that I need to finish, but I'll get to them too. They're on my list. I just don't know what I want next. I'll figure it out. All right, well, I hope everybody is well. Oh, I also didn't really mention very well in the past clip I was talking about sending a card to my physical therapist it's because I had vertigo issues and I don't think I ever really said that in that video but I had vertigo issues and I went to my physical therapist and had one session and they fixed me of course that's not going to always fix everybody but I'm feeling really great um in that aspect of life <laughs> with those problems I feel much better so All right, well, let's round this up because it's a lot going on around here. Not really, but there is. Um, so I hope you're well. I hope you're doing as well as you can be. I hope that you're taking all means necessary for self-care and then also checking in on others and doing all the, the things like that. And until the next episode, peace, love, and happy crafting, y'all. And I'll talk to you then. Bye. Apparently, Hello. Hazel has something to say. Yeah, I want to show you my canvases. Well, I did a video, and that'll be at the end of this. Is that cool? Okay. Okay. Maybe you can wear your Wednesday vest next time for me. That would be awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh.